You guys, JP Tech here, and I'm out here in the Shionoe Mountains in Kagawa. Now, let me take off this mask, see if you can hear me a little better. Uh, there's literally, literally no one here, and uh, I'm in the Shionoe Michino Eki, and it's a very popular hot spot here in Kagawa for its nature, hot spring, beautiful mountains and behind me are some ajisai flowers which is not the season so they're all dead waiting for the i think it's a spring i believe or the summer i forget when they bloom but anywho uh these are ajisai behind me and uh right now i'm just doing some tests with full frame which i'm shooting right now this is the a7s shooting a 24p i'm shooting in s log because the sun is really bright and we have a lot of high dynamic range so we're in s log and when i'm doing the test yes i will be shooting in the, the standard preacher profile uh, nothing special because i really want to compare how my xh1 fuji's xh1 compares to a real full frame camera so i'm going to be doing some shooting some testing i'll uh, show some stills and videos we're gonna try to stay warm and see what we can get and i'm not gonna talk so much about the results because you'll see the results in your screen and you could judge whether an older 1080p full frame camera which is worth about 500 600 dollars is worth the money uh, compared to a modern mirrorless camera which could range over a thousand dollars but you could get them used for i got mine for six hundred dollars that's like the magic number every full frame camera i bought has been six hundred dollars i don't know how i find these deals but they still sell for about eight hundred dollars you know you could get a nice modern mirrorless kit for eight hundred to a thousand dollars with a nice lens i've mainly been shooting with the 23 mil full frame lens this one right here and we'll see um, i'm gonna throw in the kit lens in a couple of shots but mainly i'm gonna be shooting with the prime lens because i'm a prime lens guy right now the sony is shooting with the rico the Ricanon p 28 millimeter f 2.8 i love this combo it's an awesome walk around combo so if you are shooting a7 or a7s i highly recommend Recon on 28 mil f2.8 it is sharp wide open beautiful lens anywho let's go ahead and shoot some more How did I think that these cameras, how do they match up to each other? Really good. As you could tell from the stills, as well as the videos, they're both great cameras. You can't go wrong. So I guess what I'm trying to prove is, yes, modern cameras are a little better. I straight out of the camera, my JPEGs were clean, beautiful. I did shoot in autumn, the autumn creative style with a custom. 
Autumn Creators that, that I made for my Sony camera. And the whole point of this video is not to slam an old tech, old cameras, quite the opposite. I was surprised how well Sony put up a fight. So what I'm trying to show you is you don't really have to go out and get the best of the best, the latest and greatest. Just learn to use what you got well and that should be more than good enough for most people out there. It all depends on your budget and your circumstances. And if you were able to pony out some money for a newer camera, more power to you. But don't feel pressured by the YouTube wave. You know, YouTubers are reviewing cameras and gear every year, non-stop, and it'll never end. So never feel the pressure to buy the latest. Just keep learning how to use the gear you got the best way possible and until you hit that limit that hit a wall in your creative work in your work environment then you know you're ready to upgrade don't upgrade just because it's out upgrade because you have to so those are my two cents on the topic APS-C versus full frame old versus new it doesn't matter they all look great so if you enjoyed this video and my comments i really appreciate a thumbs up liking the video sharing it and subscribe for future videos see you in the next one peace